We've been in lockdown in our house for nearly a month now. The world has changed more than any of us could have possibly imagined over the past weeks. And something that seemed like a distant problem a few months ago is now frighteningly close to home, as many in our community have lost people in the most tragic of circumstances. For those of you who have had a loss within your family or friends, my deepest sympathy is with you. And I know that suffering is made worse by not being able to mourn with family and friends and as a community. All of us are experiencing a sense of loss, loss of our freedom, of many of the things we enjoy doing with friends and family and of the future we were looking forward to. My daughter Noah was preparing to finish school after her A-levels this summer with a rite of passage as her peers left school together and then enjoyed their prom and a summer filled with travel and fun. All that's gone now and can never be regained. How will it feel to always be the historic year 13s that didn't do A-levels? History can be fascinating to study, but being part of it feels less fun. We've also lost the Pesach we expected. The very festival that probably is one most families are used to celebrating together became something very different this year. But from this unique, unprecedented experience, from this sense of loss, a new reality has emerged with new lessons for all of us. We're more resilient than we knew. Many of us could never have imagined coping with being stuck in our homes for weeks on end. But we've adapted, we've got used to it, and we make our new normal work in new ways. We may never go back to being the same again. I've always been a huge advocate of flexible working, and now employers have seen more than ever how those who are flexible and adaptable can work anywhere and at any time. If we can make it work while simultaneously homeschooling, we can make it work in normal circumstances. We've learned new things. My youngest son, Aaron, is now off school with no more lessons this term and probably not next term as well. He may not be learning in the way he expected anymore, but he's learning new things, skills that will stand him in good stead into adulthood, how to cope with change, with disappointment and with being part of our team and possibly, most importantly, how to clean a bathroom. We've learnt what's most important to us. As Sadenite and Pesach approach, we've rallied round as a community and made sure that those who are isolated have the shopping they need can get connected to technology and have someone to talk to. This year, we've focused on making sure we have all the basic necessities we really need. Life has become simpler in many ways as we stop rushing around and turn inwards to each other. Choices become simpler. No more deciding what to wear for work or where to go out. Our choices have narrowed to what to cook for dinner and what to watch on Netflix. But I've also learned how lucky I am. I'm isolating in a nice house in Muswell Hill with people I like spending time with most of the time. My parents live in my road and I can visit them from a distance as I drop essential food into them. We've everything we need from now, for now, apart from our freedom. And from where we sit right now, in the middle of Pesach, that celebration of freedom has become more relevant than ever. What is Pesach really about? Even the Beth Din have agreed that buying kosher for Pesach water may not really be necessary, but we all know that spending time with those we love most is incredibly necessary. Now more than ever, we look forward to a time once again when we can hold our families tight and enjoy large celebrations together. Being part of a Jewish community is all about being together for the good times and the sad times. We will be together again, but until we can be, we'll be together apart.